Welcome to Lesson 2.5 and today we're going to talk about these new rules, product and quotient rules for derivatives. Now I know you might want to be thinking, hey, can you prove these to me? And I can say I can, but I don't want to do it now because it takes a little while. But um, if you want, you can search this up on the internet or use your textbook, the Stewart textbook we use, and I'm sure it's written in there. Or just come find me in class and I'll do it for you in class. Um, here we go, the product rule. So if I'm asking you to take the derivative of two separate functions multiplied together, if it was so easy that it was just the derivative of the first times the derivative of the second, that'd be great, but it's not. It's actually equal to this. It's the first function times the derivative of the second plus the second function times the derivative of the first. Okay? Or sometimes people do it like this, ddx, the derivative of the first using f times s, so fs, fs prime plus sf prime. Okay? That's the product rule. Then we've got the quotient rule where I'm asking you to take the derivative of a quotient, so a numerator, which I call f of x, and a denominator, which I call g of x. And this one's even more complicated. It's actually g of x times f prime of x minus f of x times g prime of x all over, and then same thing called g of x, or the denominator, all squared. Oh. Or maybe a little bit easier, just using t and b. Um, we can say b with the bottom times t prime derivative of the top minus top times b prime derivative of the bottom all over b squared. Now this is something you're like, oh, I don't want to memorize these things. Well, you're in luck. Today is your lucky day because I don't want you to memorize these formulas. I want you to, that's right, sing these formulas. And you're like, sing? Uh-huh. Do you know I have a favorite song? Do you know what my favorite song is? You sing it every year at least once. No, it's not the national anthem, but it's, that's right, happy birthday. So, um, there are two verses to happy birthday that no one teaches you until you take AP Calculus. So, your luck, today's your lucky day. So, let me use my lovely singing voice, and if you want to put me on a mute because you don't want me to you, want, you don't want to hear me sing, you're more than welcome to do so, but I'm doing this because I want you to learn. So, instead of uh, the product rule being f, s, and all that, I like to use a and b. So if I ask you to take the derivative of a times b, here we go, it's, and I like it this, a prime b plus b prime a. And that's the first line of this verse. So, here we go a prime b plus b prime a and repeat a prime b plus b prime a then i just did the product rule that means i am so cool hey easy right once again a prime b plus b prime a a prime b plus b prime a i just did the product rule that means i am so cool now you're thinking is there something else for the quotient rule you bet there is so let me sing to you this verse first and then we'll talk about the formula so here we go verse i guess three of happy birthday the quotient rule i need to know and here we go i use low d high less high d low so okay let's let's stop 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 for a sec so now if I want to find the derivative of something that is a fraction or a quotient, I use high and low instead of uh, t and v top and bottom, okay? And the derivative is low d, sorry, the quotient rule I need to know, it's this, low d high, and then less, right, minus less, high d low, and then Draw a line, then there be lows. Right, there's your division sign. Put the square of the low. So here we go. Low, d high, right? L, and then high derivative, less high, d low, derivative of L, and then low squared. All right? 
Okay, so start singing this in the shower tonight when you're sing, uh, when you're showering, and sing it for the rest of the unit. Okay, A prime B plus B prime A, A prime B plus B prime A, and then the quotient rule I need to know: low D high, less high D low. Draw a line and then below put the square of the low. Okay, back to the notes now. All right, so I use this D D X. A times B. A prime B plus B prime A. A prime B plus B prime A. By the way, you should write this down. I just did the product rule. That's why I am so cool. And then here, the quotient rule I need to know. Okay. Remember, high, low. Low, D high, less high. Below, draw a line and then below put the square of the low. Now you're set to do these examples. All right, here we go. So differentiate these, please, without using a calculator. Now, for the first question, you may be thinking, Hey, 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 couldn't I just multiply this out? You could, and I'll do that. Okay, so I'll say method number one over here, just multiply it out. And if you multiply it out, what do we get? Uh, 3 times 2, that's 6x cubed. Uh, that's 9x squared minus 4x minus 6. And so now you've written as a polynomial, which is great, because you know how to take the derivative of a polynomial. Just take the derivative of each individual term. 6 times 3 is 18. So 18x squared. This is 18x minus 4. And you're like, who cares about the product rule? I could have done this without. True, true, true. But let's just for sake of practice, we use the product rule. And then I would think about this first term as A and this second term as B. So method two, now using the actual product rule. So I'm just gonna go straight to finding the derivative, right? Here we go, A prime. So what's A prime? That's the derivative of three X squared minus two, which is six X, good. A prime, A prime B. So just copy down B plus and then B prime, let's B prime, the derivative of 2x plus 3, yeah, 2. A, so 3x squared minus 2, good. So once again, can you see this? Here's my A prime B plus B prime A, great. And then now we just have to expand and simplify, so we'll go ahead and expand. Okay, uh, 12x squared, 18x. 6x squared minus 4. We'll combine things together. That's 18x squared plus 18x minus 4. Same answer. Woo! I'm glad it was the same. If it wasn't, <laughs> that's a problem. Okay, now you're thinking, forget this. I would have just multiplied it out. Yeah, I would have too. But I thought I'd give you a simple example to get you to practice with the product rule. Okay? All right, number two. I used a little bit of space. My apologies. But look, here we have a quotient. So... It's the quotient rule I need to know. So here we go. Low 2 minus 3x. That's low. D high. So what's the derivative of a high? Uh, that's the numerator. The derivative of 2x squared is just 4x. The derivative of negative 4x is just negative 4. The derivative of 3 is 0. So there's my low. And here's my D high. Low D high. And then don't forget it's less. Less high. D low, which is negative 3. Draw a line and then below put the square of the low. Here we go. Now you can expand this out if you wish, but do not expand out the denominator. So I'm just going to quickly expand this out. Uh, that's what 2 times 4 is 8x, negative 8, and then minus 12x squared plus 12x. Be careful with the two minuses on the next term. This negative and this negative become a positive, so I'll just say plus uh, 6x squared uh, minus 12x plus, right? So plus, 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 plus 9 all over. And once again, I'm going to say do not expand out the bottom. By convention, we usually don't anyway, so it's probably best if you don't negative 6x squared, that's these two terms, 8x minus 12x, negative 4x, oops, and another 12x there, so let's just write that as plus 8x, and then negative 8 plus 9, that's 1. 
Here we go. Done. Okay. All right, now there's your practice with quotient rule. So there's one more here. Uh, you can look at this and say automatically quotient rule. That's great. So if you did that, I'm happy with you. Uh, I love singing the song. The quotient rule I need to know. Low D high. Oh, what's the derivative of negative 9? <laughs> Zero. Good. Low D high less high. D low. Derivative of 5x squared is 10x. Draw a line and then below put the square of the low. So in this case, we get what 90x in the numerator. And I can, this time I'm actually going to expand this out, 25x to the power of 4. And I think that simplifies to 18 over 5x cubed into the denominator. Okay, now you're thinking, why did I expand it out this time? I told you not to the last time. I know, but I wanted to see if you can do this another way. Could you have rewritten this as a power? Yes, you can, because this could have been y equals to negative 9 over 5, x to the negative 2, and then quickly use the power rule to help you figure out the answer. Yeah, that's 18 fifths x, and you reduce the exponent by 1. Oh, look at this. 18 over 5x cubed. Same. I love it when it's the same. So, of course, it's up to you which method you like to use, but both of them work. And then finally, for our last example here, we've got g of x equals to 3e to the x times sine x. And because you're using transcendental functions here, you can't really multiply this out like a polynomial, like number 1. So, I'm so sorry. Or actually, I'm not. I love for you to sing the song, so I'm actually excited because this is only doable by using the product rule. There's my first thing, A, and here's my next thing, B. Here we go, A prime. Oh, what's the derivative of 3e e to the x? 3 is a constant, we can keep it there. The derivative of e to the x is... <gasps> that's right, e to the x. So there's your A prime. A prime B, so that's just sine x plus b prime. Oh, what's the derivative of sine x? Cosine x, that's right. b prime a, which is just 3 e to the 3x. Cool. Uh, looking here, I see that there are two terms, and I see that there are um, similar things within these two terms, a 3 e to the x, so I'll factor that out, and you'll just get this. Lovely. Beautiful. I'm done. Okay, so this is a really mechanical lesson. I just want you to know the product and quotient rules, reviewing also the power rules and all the different derivatives you just learned, ln, e to the x, sine, all that kind of stuff. So practice, practice, practice. I know it's boring, but hey, guess what? It's a skill you need. So do it. And sing the song at the same time.